and it's like, don't frown while you do it. Ah. Hello everybody, Steffi here from The Makers and um, today is an exciting day because it's the first of the month and that means that we've got our subscription boxes all brand new, completely untouched by any of you and um, it's very exciting because um, I, um, I always wait for the postman in anticipation like you all do of course and then when he knocks on the door I'm like no polite chatter chit chitter chatter it's just like give me the box <clears throat> now be nice to your postman but he's been already at my um, place so um, oh I just need to turn myself down so that you don't get ch black chat back chat even black chat <laughs> don't I don't talk in black um, and uh, today he's brought first of all this one Woohoo! I'm so excited by this It's an amazing new project and um, I have a little surprise on top of the surprise box as well because um, you're gonna get Sophie demonstrating on the butterfly in a minute are you happy let's see who's here today hi Diane hi Alicia hi Faith hi Donna um, hi Pauline I'm reading backwards as you always um, expect me to do hi Bridget hi Faith I probably said that already hi Pamela good morning to all so what time is it uh, is it seven your time you're such you're such a amazing um, makers group here. I can't believe you get up, especially for us. Um, hi Helen, I probably said that too as well. Um, um, I probably said Donna as well. But you, you, I'm having one of these forgetful days today. I, I um, you can ask Emma because Emma is on the other side. She's already had the um, forgetful treatment. Um, from from me this morning where I said um, I send you this and then a few minutes later I, I said um, I sent it and then I sent her a mother message and saying here it is now so she got it twice and I'd completely forgotten I'd actually sent it already um, oh Pamela butterfly you're looking forward to the butterfly so excited my my first box arrived today Alicia the phone brilliant Alicia and if you pop, pop over onto um, Pamela Duffy's um, YouTube channel she's actually yesterday she did a live stream on the first half of the phone so she's got it as far as the shape and then next Sunday which um, so that would be the 6th of June if you're watching this um, later on she's doing the the cover the, the coloring of the of it as well so um, Faith it's beautiful outside and apparently I can finally go outside too yes that's good news for those of you who've been tucked away shielding for so long you're um, okay to step outside now so that be like being born again um Steffi the buffer button needs pushed please yeah well if only I knew what I did last time I've no idea okay I'll try and I try and pretend that I know what I'm doing just just wait wait, wait a moment I've no idea what I did last time but um I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pretend I'm doing something and see if it if it's working okay let me know if this is better and if I don't um go stuck staccato on you all the time um diane is very happy um another Di diane says hello everyone um what else going all in the wrong direction um too many of you now hi everybody faith um, i think faith attempted to say hello to everybody um but i as i've said hello twice to everybody that's okay then Aren't we an, an impatient lot eagerly waiting here for Steffi and eager to see what's in the new box? Excellent. So I'll just leave you dangling a little bit longer. Uh, yes, we are impatient. Then we'll be impatient with the post person. Absolutely. Um, it's beautiful. Oh, no, I've already read that. Um, groupies all waiting for the Celtolics Anon therapy session. <laughs> we should actually... How does that? Oh, do you know the, the 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 bad thing is you know how they abbreviate things if you've got alcoholic anonym, anonymous and then if you do this feltolics anon therapy session that's the fat session. <laughs> Why ever not? Let's have a fat session. I like it. <laughs> um. So has my postie with a lovely parcel from you? Oh, brilliant, Helen. So you've got your box. Oh, there's Emma's mum. Hi, Maria. Hello. I'm new. I'm an. I'm new as a subscriber, so very excited. We can't wait to see your phone, um, Maria. Very nice to see you here. Right, so this is the Maker's Box. We're taking it in order today. Maker's Box first, and then we're going to have um, a sneaky little peeky view at uh, the surprise box, but we're not really, I'm just teasing you. And then we're going to do unpacking the fairy box. 
which I've already had a little look inside um, inside that lovely pink envelope and this is what um, it's gonna it's gonna be made this month but I'm going to put all of these away because first of all I'm unpacking the makers box oh, this postman he's been a bit rough with this parcel it's already looks a bit battered they don't look like that when they leave our workshop so right Ooh, exciting um, at some point I'm going to have to give Sophie her clue to come in because of course we're socially distancing so there will be a slight time delay um, for the swap over even though we spend so much time together probably more time than with our respective families we're not considered a household yet um, there we go Ooh, maker's box just to make sure it's the right one yeah butterfly on there how very exciting i'm gonna look in there first is anybody excited nobody's everything's got really quiet Ooh. okay so in every box you get our newsletter on every newsletter um you get told of what's new that's why it's called a newsletter i suppose and um and then on the back there's always a free tutorial so this month um it's all about uh, mini tops butterflies because they're um they're also a special gift from us to you um because it's our birthday month and um so here you can see different bits and pieces you can see it for real when you get your box so that this newsletter changes every month obviously and then I'm always amazed how beautifully um, these get packed by our lovely staff. So you always get tissue paper. So it's a bit rustly. Excuse me about the noise. Let's speak up a bit. And then um, it's true to its colors. This is a really bright and colorful um, project this month. So you get in your maker's box, you get a maker's box newsletter that refers directly to um, the project. And on there you get special um, codes for discounts, a little story, it um, tells you what the box contents is and most of all it tells you what you're doing um, the next month. Um, so next month will be the Dachshund Trio and you will be making um, a wire-haired Dachshund, um, a short-haired Dachshund and a long-haired one and then the month after is going to be um, uh, Sloth. That's right, I knew that. It's just confused me because the month after that it's going to be otter, an otter and a baby. So we always tell you at least three months in advance what comes in your box because you have a choice to skip payments um, or if you um, if you want your box sooner, you can change the payment dates. You're in control of your own subscription account and we don't tie you in a contract so you can cancel any time. I should say that and on the back of the newsletter, it always tells you in very great detail how you manage your account. But of course, we're always there at the end of an email or a phone call as well. And then um, you get your um, lovely professionally printed um, instructions and they are step by step with um, visual images there as well I don't know what non-visual images would be but these are the um, instructions that come with it and um, and then in this box here you get a very special treat so this is a, a printed um, sturdy fabric yeah bring it really nice and close of um, of just complete overflow of um juicy colors i just absolutely love the um the orange and red clashing with that nice purple and that green it's um i know i'm a rainbow gal but when it comes to clashing colors i'm just as keen as i am on rainbows and then you get your wool bag and i will tell you now you will have lots of fibers left over this is a very generous um portion of wool um you get as I already um, made you anticipate a little surprise pack, I won't say too much about it. So there is, a, um, there is something extra there for you and something extra. I'm not showing you what that is. It doesn't come in every box, but we have to keep something as a surprise for you. So that's um, basically it. Now, remember, when you get your first subscription box, which some of you might, you also get a full set of tools in there that um, consists of six needles. And from now on, you get our um basic wool mat which is a plastic free alternative to a felting mat and it's fully compostable so you can um, chuck it in your compost if you don't want to use it anymore because you might have upgraded to an earth mat perhaps so here you go that's that and um 
I think now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hand over to Sophie because she's going to show you a specific technique. This is her project and um, so she is going to show you a little bit um, what you might need to um, need a little help with if you're uh, new to this kind of thing. I'm trying to clear the decks um, also um, because we're not meant to touch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna leave very quietly now and Sophie deal with this embarrassing moment. <laughs> She's actually sitting there, but I'm gonna make a wide circle around her. So. Okay, I'm gonna just have a little drink now. Um, okay, see you later. <laughs> Hello everybody. If my cheeks are red, you know why. <laughs> I'm um, Sophie and you won't see me on here very much because I tend to be the quieter one. I leave most of the talking to Steffi most of the time. <laughs> so thank you for that introduction. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to show you um, a few techniques on our butterfly picture project. So it's a, it's a printed picture as Steffi showed you and then we needle felt over the whole picture. So the background as well is needle felted just there. And I'm going to show you a few little tricks of how to get these lines and graduations in the into the picture. So while we absolutely love the earth mats, um, in when I'm doing 2D work, I really, really like the firm surface of the brush mat. So I've got a large brush mat there. And the other thing I absolutely love, if you've seen any of my posts on um, our Facebook page, you know that I've got a whole selection of these at home. Um, I think I've got seven with different types of needles in. So this one's got a cross star needle in and then two twisted needles, a fine one and a medium one. So I, the cross star is really powerful and the fine and medium twisted needles just help to get all the details in. So first of all, I'm going to show you mixing the wool and I'm just going to turn the camera over. There we go. So I'm using for the background uh, lichen green and uh, neon yellow. There we go. <laughs> full back to front and our um, hot pink so the background I've done a little section of it here you can see the middle of the leaves are, are much more yellow and the outsides are much more pink so I'm going to mix a little bit of green with the pink to make the outside first of all so I'm taking a little pinch of each color it's much easier to mix smaller amounts to start off with and I'm just teasing them apart and putting them back up on top of each other as flat as possible that helps to make a really smooth um, color mix and if you do that um, keeping them flat on top of each other you also get these lovely streaks in the wall so you can use those streaks to sort of make the the brush strokes almost of this painted image so I'm just going to lay that that color on so that it's um, going in line with those brush strokes and then I'm using the, the three needle tool, first of all, to help push all those fibers in place. And you can see on the brush mat, it just um, goes in really easily into those fibers. And then I'm going to use my seven needle tool. If you want something that goes super fast, if you've had a bad day, um, you can you can use these without all your frustrations, but they are very noisy, so I apologize for that. So you can see that really fixes down the surface very, very quickly. So I'm just going to use the green by itself for the middle section of the leaf. And you can just go straight in with that seven needle tool if you want. I'm going to go over these leaf outlines in a minute. And for this project, if you just if you just make the um, the layer of wool thin enough so you can just see that pink vein down the middle of the leaf, that's going to help us when we do the next part. So then you'd mix some yellow and green for this part of the leaf and fill that in. And then um, I've got a leaf that I've filled in here now. So I'm going to show you a technique for doing that line down the middle. You can just about see it showing through the wool there. And I'm going to mix for this a little bit of pink and a little bit of white. So mixing the white with the pink helps it to make a bit more of a sort of sketchy um, brush stroke of a line rather than a really, really defined line. So I'm just going to mix that white in. And you'll have bits that are slightly darker pink and bits that are slightly lighter pink. 
and then I'm just going to take my three needle tool but you of course in the kits you can do this with a single needle or you can hold two needles together it's up to you so I'm just going to start that line off in the middle of the leaf and start felting it in using one end of that mixed fiber so I've got I've got it attached at one end and then loose at the other end and what I can do is just stretch that out as I go and felt it so I'm just sort of teasing the fibers just a little bit as I felt them in and you can work your way towards the end of that leaf and if you just break the fibers at the end leaving a, a nice sort of smooth transition and then you get that lovely line going across the middle of the leaf so that those techniques are the same you can use that color mixing technique for the um, the yellow into the red on the wing here and the the red and the brown there and the the line techniques again you use all of the way around the edges of the wings and it's really fun um, framing that part of the picture actually because it's suddenly you can see where all the colors um, overlap there once you frame it with that black it really defines the butterfly and so you get this lovely lovely picture so um, those are the ways I like to do it of course you you'll find your own your your own favorite tools and your own favorite techniques but um, however you do it I hope you enjoy making the butterfly and I'll hand back over to Steffi hello here again in action I'm actually going to put this lovely butterfly here in the background because then you can admire it um, when you get fed up looking at me yeah. I'm going to say bye everyone now Sophie <laughs> says bye bye <laughs> bye bye Sophie <laughs> um, so there, are, there have been some questions which I will answer um, a rice bag uh, work instead of a brush pad yes a rice bag would also work um, trying to use less plastic totally agree um, what a great idea says faith to actually paint with wool over your design so beautiful um, we think it's really lovely so thank you for that faith and um, this project will slow me down I don't own any multi tools you can do it with a single tool it won't be any longer it won't take any longer than making the hair or the fox or the phone um, because you're literally flat needle felting these are just some knacks that we're sharing with you so don't worry if you haven't got a multi-tool you don't need to um, run to it and buy one you'll be fine with a single tool or hold two needles together as Sophie mentioned or even three needles I've done that before right so that's um, the butterfly let's have a look at the fairy box I'm just putting this out of the way as well as much as I love the colors um, uh, before I move on to the fairy box I will just um, show you these I think Sophie was meant to do it but she's probably forgotten so um, one of the projects in August is going to be making sloths and she's got a whole um, zoo here of them um, I'm not entirely sure how many you will be making but it will definitely be more than one and I'm covering one up here because there's a tiny baby there can you see it there <laughs> so they be it's gonna be they're climbing on bamboo um, sticks so it's a whole it's almost like a mobile uh, I suppose or like a display and they they can hang on really um, quite well with their um, hands, of course. So um, that's going to be the August box after the Dachshund Trio. So the Dachshund Trio, hopefully I will be able to show you very soon. I'm working on them right now, but I haven't got all of them ready. So it needs to wait for another time. Um, right, um, fairy box next. So the fairy box, as I said, was also delivered in the post. It comes in a lovely um, pink envelope that fits in your letterbox. So it's quite useful to do that. I should also just say there is a difference between the fairy boxes and our uh, maker subscription boxes in that these are available to purchase separately and also um, um, often after their respective months, depending on how many we've got available still. So for example, in um, May you were able to make the pansy fairy box um, the reason why we're doing this is because we really want you to build a collection not just have the single fairy but actually build a collection so the the pansy fairy box while it's whilst it's no longer available as a subscription you can now buy the single box and it makes one 
really lovely fairy just hanging here. And um, the Forget Me Not Fairy is um, is brand new now, so you can subscribe. It's much cheaper if you sub subscribe, you save yourself 20%. And um, in this box, you always get the same thing. So that whether it's your first or your second box, you um, get the same amount of tools. The only difference is that in your first box, you always get um, the basic shape for angels and fairies and figures because you need that for all of your fairies. This sets you out of how to make the basic um, structure for each individual fairy and then the respective um, instructions for each fairy are, are enclosed separately. Um, and it's, it's a really fun box this month because you get some really nice little um, forget-me-not shape flowers here. And forget-me-nots, they do come in, in blues and pinks and even whites. So um, you might have um, a color assortment in there. You get two pipe cleaners this time in your box. You get your basic um, um, core wool. You get the, the pink to make the little hands and the head. And in this one, you get um, yellow, like a lovely sort of um, blonde for the hair. Then you get yellow for a part of the body and a blue um, for the, the blue of the forget-me-not fairy. You also get a single needle in there. You also get um, string to which is part of the construction of the fairy. You also get um, Angelina fiber in this one because we're doing a trick on how to um, how to make Angelina fiber um, wings because this fairy has got wings. And um, that just reminds me, I've forgotten half of my stuff upstairs flipping typical so I'm gonna have to send a message via Emma Emma could you ask um, somebody kindly in the workshop to bring down for me the iron from upstairs um, which is on the shelf <laughs> on the shelves by the Royal Shutter Doors and um, the template which is on my desk uh, no there's always something I forget I'm such a numpty but I am having a forgetful day for day oh I'm having a forgetful day today, which is why I'm making a forget-me-not fairy, of course, so that I don't forget anything anymore. Right, so I'm just putting this out of the way. And um, the different techniques I wanted to show you on the forget-me-not fairy are... Um, oh, let's have a look at her. There she is. So this one has got legs. She's got legs. Let's lift her skirt. And I will show you how to um, make the legs so that you, she's got like little ballerina slippers with the laces running up her leg. She's got yellow bloomers on this one. And um, I will show you how to make the legs. I will show you how to make the hair because she's got plaits on. Um, and also how to make the Angelina fiber wings. And that for that, I do need the iron and the template. Right, so let's start with um, making the legs. So in when you make a fairy, um, you often you have a sort of a longish end here because that is the is the long pipe cleaner. Sometimes you use half of that for the arms, which is what you've been doing with the previous fairies if you've been making a hanging hanging one. With this one, um, I used the the pipe cleaner ends to make the arms, and I'm using the a pipe cleaner length that you get separately and you need you need to use your very special wire cutters which I always use this is an absolutely awful about half of it so you need half a length here to make um, legs and to make the legs there's slightly different technique from how um, you've made will have made the arms and the arms um, is where you put the little fists into pink with the legs, you're actually wrapping the whole length of the pipe cleaner initially in pink. So you're not um, covering the ends up, but you're going across the whole of the leg with the pink pipe clean, uh, pink uh, wool around the pipe cleaner. And what you can see is I'm actually leaving the strand of pink nice and flat. And I'm just um, using my finger to twist the pipe cleaner. So I'm rolling it and the wool will just grip into it. I'm just going to go a, a little bit closer up so you can see it. So instead of going round and round and round, which you can also do, I'm just letting the pipe cleaner grip that wool by twisting it and I've got far more control over the wool so that it goes on the pipe cleaner, nice and dense and um, yeah, and, and neat. And um, then if you need more, 
you just pull off a little bit more. Start at the other end. Let the wool grip into the pipe cleaner. Let it sort of cover the pipe cleaner and then just twist the pipe cleaner to go round and round and round. And I'm going over it again because I do want the legs to be slightly um, bigger than just this really, really skinny little legs. Right, so I've got my pipe cleaner legs. They look like that. Sometimes I leave a bit um, in the middle um, so that they ha they can fasten better onto the um, existing body of the fairy. But in this case, I haven't done that. And then you use your blue. And now you're doing what you would have done with a hand, where you wrap the wool around the ends to have a, a little cover there. And then you bend the pipe cleaner in so that the pipe cleaner end is no longer sharp. Cover the rest with the blue and you need to be nice and tight because you want these um, little slippers to be nice and um, fitted. And then when you get to the end of your wool, you might have to tease it to make it a little bit thinner. You actually um, wrap it around there not so neatly in that you make a stripey candy stripe effect. So that way it looks like she's got a little a little slipper on, bend the foot in and um, and the laces have sort of been wrapped up her leg to secure. Um, bearing in mind that you're not going to see the full exposure of the leg, just um, um, sort of smaller parts of it. And I'm uh, coming a little bit, um, little bit closer because I can hold this right into the camera. The camera seems to respond quite well to this. So I'm sure you again, I wrap the end of the foot with blue then bend the pipe cleaner over, wrap the blue around it so that the um, end of the foot is nice and covered. And then the rest of the pipe of the um, wool, I'm literally just letting it sort of fizzle out towards the middle of the leg there. Bend my foot in, oh, the wrong way, <laughs> she's got twisted feet. And then when you bend the whole thing in, you've made a set of feet. So that's basically what is happening with um, the Forget-Me-Not Fairy. And um, that then gets fastened onto the body by um, twisting that body pipe cleaner up and around the waist. And then you've got a little, a little skinny figure there that then needs um, dressing up with warm, more wool. So um, that's one of the techniques I wanted to show you. There you go. Um, and I don't know if, um, Emma, did you get that message about um, bringing the iron and the, um, the template from my desk? I don't know because nobody's turned up yet. So hopefully Emma will get that message. But I've got one other technique to show you before that anyway. And for this, I show you, um, we use the hair. So just keeping an eye in case there are any questions. So let's have a look what people are asking. Um, I'm just starting at the beginning. Okay, so there's another question to do with the with the with the a previous box, which I will answer after. Um, just might have to buy the fairy box this month, Alicia. You definitely have to. It's also really nice to have the collection of the fairies. Um, it is. Is it just me who has a large folder slowly filling up with the maker's instruction sheets? <laughs> Well, you, they keep for good, so you can always revisit them. I think I'll be making another purchase, Rachel says. Thank you, Rachel. Um, Diane, I have two folders, not bragging, though. Of course you're not, Diane. We don't mind if you've got ten folders. It's brilliant. Um, so Pauline also has got lots of uh, folders. Um, Alicia says, yep, Rachel, and it's the Angelina fiber that is putting me over the top. Oh, brilliant. We love Angelina fiber. Some people um, don't like it because one tiny little strand stuck on you will make you stand out in crowds of a thousand. However, you don't have to worry about that at the moment because you won't be in crowds of a thousand. But um, still, it will um, sparkle. You can sparkle your whole self through the whole of the day with just one little um, tinsy, fib tinsy fiber left. So to make the hair... Um, you get a big, big um, strand of yellow in your um, fairy book. Some of it you may want to use um, because there's a, a particular technique of how to make her little skirt. And for this, you might use either a yellow or a blue. But um, if you want to use all of this, you can then, of course. And the way to do this is by imagining that this is going to be 
um, the piggy tails on either side and then the top is going to be like a wig um, that needs to fit the head so what I've done is I usually lay it down on my this might be best really close up let me just um, do this and um, so I lay it down on my on my mat and then I'm splitting one end into um, into three equal parts here so it looks a little bit like that and I start plaiting now you it's quite difficult to plait as most people will probably um, um, have a resistance at the other end so you're kind of plaiting without anybody holding on at the other end if that is an issue then just get somebody to hold the other end but we do want it to be nice and loose here over the top so um, just make it as neat as you can without pulling the top flat and I'm just literally plaiting it so that it makes a nice neat little plait on um, on that one side yeah and what well, it's it um, it's really satisfying to plait her hair so once you get to the fizzly ends you have it you have uh, you can now tie them off and you could just use a little bit of um, the blue um, tops it doesn't pop open so you don't have to worry so much about letting go of that and then if you want to use a different color wool use the the blue just to keep in the colorway and just put a knot on there yeah, like that and you can put another one on um, you could tie a little ribbon if you want or you can put a ribbon on whatever takes your fancy but if you want to use what you've, you've got in the box just use a little bit of blue and I quite like it when these are cut because it sort of distinct distincts it oh my god these scissors are so rubbish I've cut too much wire with them so I've made one little piggy tail and then um, you go to the other side and you repeat that basically always leaving um, sort of the top of the head with um, the wool um, oh I think my iron and my Angelina fiber and stuff's cut oh yes and my baking parchment um, did you find the template the, I know it was what I guessed you needed yeah I did, it's Angelina. on my desk yeah okay. and oh no I've got Angelina fiber okay just the template yeah so the funny thing now is uh, what you will see me do in a minute when I've finished the side of the plat I've got to crawl under the table to pluck the iron in um, so that might be hilarious to watch but um, it's um, yeah I'm just gonna disappear under the table for a minute there's always something I forget it's absolutely awful honestly one of these days ah oh, I'm still here just hiding oh I'm back okay all plugged in so while that is heating up I'm finishing the other side of the plat and um, hold it up a bit so you can see what I'm actually doing um, thank you Sophie so here we go um, now I've got the iron under the table and the mouse to change and this could be fun I have to make sure I don't touch the wrong thing <laughs> I'll soon enough know about it I'll just come a bit closer again so you can see what I'm doing right so I'm plaiting the other side of this um, hairdo now there we go I've got a I seem to have one really long strand there and one really short one but that's okay just make make do with what you've got and then just tie that up as well yeah and then I cut that end of the um, plait short as well but I'll probably use different scissors not these horrible sticky ones that um, I've used for pipe cleaners and whatnot way too often so um, these are actually brilliant scissors we sell them now they're little embroidery scissors um, and um, yeah we really love them they're nice and sharp there we go I haven't cut any wire with that yet so I've got a little literally a little um, um, wig there for my fairy ready to put on and um, to put it on you need your fairy obviously your fairy will look slightly more um, ready than mine um, but you fit the hair onto her head just make sure that I've got the face at the front and you might have to sort of squish it down and pull it down a little bit and then um, spread out the fibers so that they cover the head and then the first thing you're going to do is you're going to needle felt um, along the back of the head to give her almost sort of like a middle parting across the back and in that in that that way you're fitting the hair onto the head and then you're repeating that at the front as well 
there so I'm stabbing it on in the middle and then the only other place you need to stab it on well is by the side of her piggy tails and to do that you might have to pull it down a bit and then stab into always try and stab into the um, plaited crease rather than into the hair itself because then you don't get you the hair stays nice and smooth and then you pull it down the other side as well and felt it on on that end as well and that's basically a really quick simple technique of how to um, make the hair of the fairy and uh, obviously you'll be felting this a little bit more um, and then you've got a little a little face with picky tails on either side really easy to make um, so that is basically how you make the hair and then um, for making the Angelina wings this is not just for the fairy I'm just going to go bigger again this is for any um, type of where you want to turn the um, the nice and I'm gonna unpack this now so you can see this is well well contained in these uh, paper bags and when you open it up take it out that, that is just it's just lusher than lush honestly it is so nice Angelina fiber I am like a magpie I love sparkly things they're just so nice anyway so what you do is you um you want to have the the fibers of the angelina fiber running in the direction of how the wings would naturally uh, perhaps go so just hold this really close so the the fibers are running um in that direction so this is how you would um lay them out and because you get a template in your um on your instructions that you can use for the wings you can lay out um, you can lay the instructions under greaseproof paper. This is the other thing that you need. So you need greaseproof paper. And I'm just going to go um, again close up because you want to see that better. So I've got my um, greaseproof paper on top of here. And then you're using the Angelina fiber um, and take sort of little strands off. I'm going to pack this under this board because that doesn't need to stick up. This is only because it's curving. There we go nice and neat there so I'm using the template underneath so I can see where my wings how big they are and you can um, shorten the Angelina fiber by just gently um, tearing them and so I'm making uh, one side go like that and the other side the other way you will notice that you have extra Angelina fiber over so if you want to mix this in into your in the making of the fairy you can do this I haven't done this on mine but you can do this so now I've, I've got my two wings um, out to the side and then you fold this uh, greaseproof paper in half so the, the Angelina fiber hasn't moved but it's nice and flat and now I'm going to grab my iron there and all I'm doing is on a hot heat I'm going across the Angelina fiber for a few seconds. You can see that it changes slightly colors. And this way, the Angelina fiber gets fused together. It doesn't stick to anything else other than to itself. That's the magic about um, heat bondable Angelina fiber. And when you've done this, you can open up your sheet. And even though it looks like it might be stuck to it, it's not. It comes off really easily. So you can put your paper away this is the shape of the wings that um, you have made and now you can use um, a pen ideally a blue pen but I um, I thought I had one well let's use a purple pen um, or even a pencil and you draw around um, the wings um, whilst the template is underneath it because the the actual Angelina fiber foil that you've created is see-through there so use a pen that is um, complementary to the actual wings rather than using one that when you cut the, um, around it it looks horrid so I could have probably gone um, short change that a little bit there at the bottom I could have gone a bit higher up but in any case you're cutting the excess wispy ends of the Angelina fiber off like that going all the way around you could cut um, the um, excess of that line, so just cut on the inside line of that um, line that I've just drawn. And in no time, you've got a nice pair of wings there. There. And I'm um, just going to go a bit bigger again. And then you can um, 
imagine that was the fairy you can you can attach the wings there are two ways of doing it you can either glue it on which is the easier way or you can ever so slightly needle felt into this um, through the fiber this here now is it's it's rock solid it's still sparkling it's very it's actually the camera doesn't probably do it justice it's a really nice uh, fabric and it's a great way of making um, wings um, especially for fairies or butterflies and um, we um, obviously you get the blue angelina fiber in your forget-me-not fairy box but uh, we do sell um, the, the iridescent which is like a moon we call it moonstone the white one um, we also have a pink one and a, um, I think we're out of the stock of the green one which is sort of more like a dragonfly color and then we've also got um, I think we've got like a, a gold iris one but I've forgotten what exactly what it's called but anyway this is the way of how to make um, Angelina fiber this has to be heat bondable Angel Angelina fiber into a solid piece of um, well it's almost not fabric solid piece of something or the other and then you can even cut it out so if you've not done this before you'll be really delighted to know and there's even some Angelina fiber left if you wanted to you could mix that into the the skirt wool of the forget-me-not if you want her to be a really sparkly little thing and so you just um, mix it in by um, having that um, on uh, running along the fiber so you just get a little bit of a of a sparkly effect in in her skirt but um, obviously the wings are done at the very end if you want to use Angelina fiber in the fabric of the fairy then um, do the wings first and then you know exactly how much you've got left because the Angelina fiber is meant for the wings not for the dress um, so that's basically what you need to know about the fairy the forget-me-not fairy And um, finally, um, but not at all less exciting, is our um, surprise box this month. And I'm telling you, it is very exciting. And I so I, I so wish I could show I could, could show you them. Um, should could show you the content, but I'm not allowed to. I am um, yeah, not even secretly. I'm just not allowed, and it's very very annoying. Um, but um, let's just have a look quickly at some of the um, comments. Uh, Helen says you're not on your own faith uh, it's growing rapidly this is still the folder with all the um, instructions and I'm, I'm no doubt Alicia shouts out legs yes legs on this one so to get this fairy without a subscription how do we do it so I think Emma has replied to this but you basically it's listed under our kits you can just buy it um, as a as a fairy kit and in fact I think it's under the subscription listing and you can opt whether it's a subscription or whether it's just a one-off purchase if you want to catch up with the fairies I'm pretty certain we've still got the pansy fairy and um, the um, the spring fairy um, live until we run out and then that's it and then just to give you a quick preview for the month in June um, you will be making a wild rose fairy and what's special about this one is she's got a little bird on her hand and um, she's got very pretty ribbons of roses around her and there will be um, individual roses that you can fasten onto her I think they've fallen down and then there will be a free tutorial this is separate from the fairy box where you can actually make a wild rose fairy um, with uh, with us it's like a, a stab in box so um, that's back to the fairies and now surprise box Let's have a look at that surprise box. It's not going to stay there now. Just lie her down. She's just having a sleep. Right, surprise box. Oh dear. Oh no, that's the wrong flower on the wrong fairy. I wish now I had one of um, the surprise boxes here from last month because I could actually show you that one. I don't know, Emma, if you can shout to Sophie and she can bring a surprise box from uh, May because then it gives you an idea what they actually look like. But um, this one, I am opening it and I can't show you what's in it but the theme of the surprise box is called cupcakes and the surprise boxes um, have grown really steadily in numbers um, in fact we have got lots of people who get the makers box and the surprise box and if you are on our everyone a maker <gasps> oh dear okay you couldn't see anything couldn't see anything if you're on our everyone a maker um, 
page and I've got sort of like a, um, a design of our new mug. Everyone a maker, if you have a look there, you can get an idea of what people are making from the surprise boxes because the difference between the surprise box is, um, and, and the maker's box or the fairy box is you don't get any instructions, no tools or anything like that. You just get juicy and interesting fibers or other woolly related items and then it's down to you to decide what you want to use them for and we're always really really keen to find out what you're using and there's always we have a monthly competition running where you can share your makes whether it's your subscription makes basically whether it's um the the maker's box the fairy box or the surprise box so the surprise box has an has an aspect of um creativity and innovation in there that is entirely left to you we give it a theme you don't have to now because it's called cupcakes you don't have to make cupcakes um you can make anything you like okay you didn't see anything no so basically um you get in there the same as with all the others you get your uh, monthly subscription box you also get something else in there which um is basically um tells you who, what the fibers or what the products in there are in the month and i can't show you that either because that would be too much of a giveaway again um but i will just i'm not going to show you but i will just show you like super like in a flash flash quickie 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 flash it that's all you're allowed to see um it's always presented very 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 nice um there is definitely good value for money in there it's um some some of the fibers are brand new we don't sell them at all yet so last month we had um in there the um the neon pink and the neon green which are uh, two of my absolutely um, most favorite fibers now and they are going to be listed to are you smiling with surprise <laughs> sorry no no i didn't i didn't i didn't <laughs> but this is last month's surprise box so i can't actually unpack this and show it for real is that right can i do that yeah yeah okay <laughs> oh oh yeah sophie's just pointing out the iron is still on <laughs> <laughs> she waving her arms at me okay for this purpose i need to um hide under the table again to unplug it it's probably a good idea to do that it's a bit like a limbo dance here excuse me for a minute still here oh god oh, i've already exercised this morning i don't need to do any more right here we are i'm back up and <laughs> the iron is off now it's probably still very hot but anyway just to give you a little glimpse of what an, a surprise box looks like um, so the, you, I just want to show you what it is, but it's because it's a surprise box, I'm not allowed to. But last month's surprise box um, was themed sweet shop. So they, um, so what you get in the sweet shop from last month, so you get the explanation what the fibers are. Um, there are always six different ones in there. Okay, it might not always be fibers. You get a, um, often you get a sweet treat or a treat in there. So you always get a free sample and this one you got candy canes because it's all about sweet shop. And then every single, I have to turn this around, every single item was wrapped in this. I just absolutely love the look of this. I'm going to have a look. What's... Oh yeah. And you got something extra in there. These were pipe cleaners. So um, extra, extra, extra fluffy pipe cleaners, really lush and nice. Um, so you could do with them whatever you liked and then you had your very juicy fibers in there so you had um, um, an alpaca in there which is like a, a rich chocolate brown and, and they're good quantities as well so that you're not like just getting whisks you get enough to make something decent out of it you had some lovely rhubarb and custard curls in there and um, if you look at some of, at our Facebook um, group, Everyone a Maker, you will see now when, when people have made these things, it all makes sense. Some This is the neon green I absolutely love. It's, it's actually too big to fit in the bag. And then um, this is the neon pink, same scenario, too big to fit in the bag. And then as a last um, sweet treat, you've got our stripy humbug um, Jacob's sheep in there so that looks like um, like a humbug sweet so um, that's basically all what you got in in um, in May but that's not what you're getting in June June's um, surprise box is themed cupcakes so this is not what that is 
what is in the June one, I can't show you. I can, can just give you um, just a little idea, basically. So that's all going back in there again. Close this. And um, gives you a good idea of what comes in the box um, in general. So I'm just going to see if there's any other comments or any other um, questions. Um, and then if that is the, if you're watching this afterwards, you obviously can't. Well, I think sometimes the comments stay and sometimes they don't. So just in case they are not staying. Mm. OK, so um, Emma is explaining that on the fairy box subscription page, you can add it to your basket as a one off item or you can choose um, a subs option. Um, and. And Faith says those legs are so cute. I think they're cute. Do you want to see them again? There. Have to lift her. And she's um, delicately crossing her legs and she's got yellow bloomers on. So, sorry, I'm holding her face shut now. And these flowers need to be glued in, but I haven't done that yet. So that's um, just something. You get five flowers in the fairy box together. Oh, left something out in that. I don't know where that came from now. Well, it'll, fi it'll find its right way. And, um, yeah, so you can make your own little sitting forget-me-not fairy and and actually somebody said why forget-me-not fairies forget-me-not are almost out of bloom now um, and uh, notwithstanding that we've had a really really warm spring but I think for me the forget-me-not flower is because we've gone through a really really excuse my French shitty time recently and I we some of us have lost if not family or friends at least we know people um, who have lost something. Maybe we've lost other things. It doesn't always have to be people that hurts. It could be maybe our freedom, our independence. Um, maybe we've lost a business that um, we've put heart, our heart and soul into build. And I just think, make a forget-me-not flower because you don't want to forget the good times. And if it's somebody who you've treasured and you've lost, then perhaps you can mark that person's life with a little forget-me-not flower. And every year when you look at the little forget me that flower maybe you set up a little candle and you uh, mem um, have your memories at the ready of this person to think of them and just take a moment that's that's basically it so forget me not flowers are quite handy in that way um, there is actually you could also make it um, as a um, the, the grands on the make who we would have normally followed around this summer and um, and spring um, doing uh, raising funds for Dementia UK, they also had projects of forget-me-nots um, as some of their crafty um, projects. So you could knit, crochet or needle felt them. And that was also just to remember that not everybody has got their memories all together. Mine is definitely struggling today, but fortunately that's just a blip and not a permanent condition. So I'm all right. Don't worry about me. Um, so yeah, forget me not. That's why forget me not fairies could be special all year round, not just when the flowers are in bloom. Um, so let's just have a look. Hi everyone, can you get the pink pipe cleaner for my tails? Of course you can. We sell them separately. We don't want just to sell kits. We want you. We sell all the supplies. We're just uh, doing kits for those who might need a little bit of help with the instructions. Uh, maybe it's their first time needle felting, and maybe it's a gift, and you don't just want to hand a pack of pipe cleaners. Um, so it looks nice in the box as well. But yes, we do sell all the ingredients, what we put into our kit separately as well. So you can always buy more supplies if you've got the instructions and the tools already. Um, bought some Angelina fiber at a craft fair and never used it. So Alicia, this is very exciting, says Rachel. Brilliant. Um, make sure if you're ironing it that it is heat bondable Angelina fiber. Otherwise, you can just use it um, as sparkly bits in, in any kind of um, um, fiber otherwise. Um, <laughs> Alicia says, bring your iron, please. Sorry, I'm a bit behind with all the messages. <laughs> Bless you. Oh, yes, I got some last week, says Faith. Um, they are such good quality, so soft. You get a pack of 20, but I think you can order more. Okay, this is not Angelina Fiber we're talking about anymore. This is the pipe cleaners now. Um, my pipe cleaners are on their way soon. Excellent, says Alicia. Um, Janet says, thank you. And, um, oh, Sophie is there now. Sophie is now um, there in writing. Hello, everyone watching now. Feel much more comfortable on this side of the camera. I hope that was okay. Sophie, you were brilliant. Yes, definitely. Do we want more, Sophie? Do we want more, Sophie? Yes, of course we do. Um, oh, there we go. You already got your affirmation there, Sophie. Sophie, that was great. Don't worry so much. There you go. 
so much fun always watching you Steffi um and of course Sophie good job Sophie know how you feel Sophie I'm a background person um bless you Jane I know people don't believe me but I'm a background person too <laughs> if you punk me in the middle of a party I'm probably the quietest person there it's um I don't know something happens when you put a cover in front of me the transition is <laughs> Yeah, I just don't know why it just happens. I'm not, I'm not the, I'm not always the gobby one. Um, that looks great. Is that merino tops? Yeah, we use merino tops for all of our fairies. So sometimes it's a South American merino, sometimes it's Australian merino. But um, on this one, it's definitely Aust Aust um, South American merino. Um, you were fine, Sophie. It was good to see you. I miss my trips to nurse first. So, so these sessions are great. Excellent, Pauline. Glad that we can help you a little bit. Um, and um, Sophie says yes it's so good to do those these to have people together from all over the UK and the world exactly let's not forget all over the world Pamela are you still there or have you fallen asleep again um, and um, there's a bit of conversation going on between Sophie and Faith and um, oh yes and I used um, merino tops for the hair as well that's um, absolutely right thank you Emma thank you so much both of you um, well, thank you, Faith, for supporting us. Alicia is in love. <laughs> are you in love? What are you in love with? Is it the fairies, by any chance? Gorgeous. Need to find my stash. Um, Angelina Fibers Brilliant, says Sophie. Um, could you just iron the middle bit and keep the outer bits fluffy? You could, but if you do that, you are guaranteed to have little bits. If you imagine you just pinch it in the middle you will have bits will keep falling off i don't know if you can see that in the camera but i, I can see a rain of angelina fibers um falling down because the fibers themselves aren't actually that long so yeah you could do that but you will definitely have bits um coming off you could iron it and just don't cut the bits off because i've i've cut around the ends so you could uh, maybe iron it closer to the edge that that is a possibility as well so you have more of the of the glittery fluffy bits sticking out um yes the more sparkles the better um oh yes and i think that's the iron that's happening there i really like this month's fairy oh thank you diane oh my god looks like a lot of buying in a minute <laughs> and alicia says got the fairy now too brilliant uh, and faith um sounds great still waiting for more neon colors um, are you waiting for more neon colors to come to your doorstep or are you waiting for no, for us to stock more neon colors? That would be um, an interesting thing to find out. I feel very divided by the fairies. Um, Laura, tell us more. Divided in which way? You like them or you don't like them or you think you should like them but you don't really like them. It's not everybody's cup of tea. I get, I get that totally. Or do you think you should have them and you don't allow yourself to have them? Well, then all I say is just treat yourself whenever not um i'm um alicia i'm not usually a fairy fan but couldn't resist this one my friend loves them so we'll give her one as a prezi i i i'm with you i'm not really I'm, you, you know wouldn't call me like a fairy type person but there's just something really nice to do um and i tell you if you've got a a, a willing recipient um little children love them and um, and sometimes they really do look delightful just hanging in the window or sitting on the side of a plant pot. Um, yeah, so I think I think there's a place for them in everybody's life at some point, even if they are more seasonal than other things. Um, Laura is intrigued by them. Um, and also once you make your own, you fall in love with it as well. So you might see somebody else's and you like it, but when you make your own, you, it's a bit like having your own child. You see other children, you think, oh, that's cute. Then you have your own, you think, it's the cutest in the world. So it's a bit like that. I absolutely love this month's fairy too. It's just beautiful. I think it was all voted the best fairy, which is like, oh, thanks. After number three, I uh, clearly hit some buttons there with more people. Um, we have loads of forget-me-nots out. This fairy, uh, this fairy, okay, um, just this fairy and then something's missing. Um, oh, Alicia says you're making me cry. Oh no, is this, is this good crying or bad crying? Is this like um, a laugh crying or is this like a crying because you ha need to have a good cry? Then I'm okay. I just hope I haven't upset anybody or anybody else. Helen says, mine will be a memory for today as it, as it marks the passing of my husband. Oh, that's a lovely idea. 
Um, yeah, you see, this is what I was talking about. If it if it means something to you, then it doesn't matter to anybody else. This has got a meaning to you, and you can express it with a really beautiful little fairy. Um, and they've got wings, so they can go and fly away. They're like they're like little souls that can take off. Um, I'm having a major blip, Steffi, so know where you're coming from. Oh, Jane, just hang in there. Everything will be... You think I haven't had... A, I have a, had a blip this morning. In fact, Sophie had to put me to one side and say, are you all right? I'm like, mm, not really. I just feel... I don't know. It's just this uncertainty is driving me nuts. And I know uncertainty means change, and change means opportunity, and that means you can create something new and amazing and... You know, we've we've changed our workshop round and I actually think that's really great. It's working so much better. We've decluttered. Lots of people have decluttered. It's all good. But it just feels um, there's little time to relax and little time to just sit down and think, oh, now I can just have a little bit of a dopey time. It just doesn't seem to, I can't get to this complete final stage of relaxation. I'm just constantly thinking, oh, I should be doing something else and I should be doing this and 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 um so i i i understand if that is what's going on for lots of people i understand um that is quite um hard and and also i went for a walk yesterday in the forest in the forest of dean where we live and it's it's it is usually um well it is com it's massive and when the car parks are full even then you can't see uh, many people but yesterday we met a group of 12 and i got into a slight state of panic i don't think i've seen 12 people in one place for that long i thought how am I going to get past them now? This is really scary um, how I'm going to do that now. And I just think we are just in this new place of not knowing. And um, and it's almost like we know how to behave, but we've got to relearn everything else somehow. Um, and, and, and it's just this uncertainty, not just what the future holds, but also what am I supposed to do? And and I wish, I wish coronavirus... Um, would be visible in the air because then then you just you, it would be something to grasp but you can't grasp it it's there but you can't actually grasp it um so alicia says helen my thoughts are with you mine will be for my grandmother who passed at 97 in february wow that's a really good age um alicia my grandmother died at 94 last month and um I know that um, she got to that age, but she wanted to die much sooner. Every time I spoke to her, she said, oh, I'm so fed up. I don't want to be alive anymore. Why can't I just die? And uh, so when she did actually die, I was kind of a little bit relieved for her as well because she didn't sound too good before. And also my mum died um, four years ago this year. It's, in fact, it's very, very soon her um, anniversary of death. And, um, and it's just like no mother should ever lose their child before they go. So it's it happens but it's not the right way around and it will always leave a massive massive scar so she's with my mum again now um and um helen says thank you alicia pamela says oh she's still here hi pam <laughs> nice to see you still all the way in oregon um faith says that's why you are so great though it's genuinely like we are chatting together across the table no acting required just you natural and funny self. <laughs> yes, not always funny. Can be quite grumpy. Um, Alicia says, yes, Faith, why I'm loving these times. Being in the vulnerable category makes it lonely, but this wonderf it, this is wonderful, like she's at your house. <laughs> oh, God, you're making me all blush now. Oh, thank you. That's so nice to hear. Uh, it's it, it really is nice to hear. I just don't know what to say now. <laughs> just have to crack another joke. Um, Faith says, I used the surprise box neons already do you stock them yet um will there be more you've got to be all excited now so um um i don't know if there's going to be more but there is definitely a yellow if you haven't got that one already that was um i probably got a bit here i always have a bit of neon i must have a bit of neon here oh yes look right bright in the bottom of this so we, we do have a neon yellow if you're um if you haven't got that one already um faith this will brighten up your day no end but you might have got this already so the only neon colors we've got at the moment is the is the yellow the pink and the green the green and the pink might not be listed yet but i'll get onto that um straight away after this um live stream and then we'll we'll sh give give it a shout out shout out on um on facebook when it's live and um 
Oh yes, so that's what Emma's saying, it will be listed soon. So anyway, I think we've come to the end of um, this little um, live stream. So if you um, want to subscribe to our boxes, there's a couple of other things that might be useful for you to know that if you um, if you subscribe and you want to add to the subscription box on the time of the month that it comes out, um, we don't charge you postage for the extra bits that you're adding up to, um, I think it's two kilos in total. So the box weighs obviously so much and then you can add to it. It's very rare that people expand on the uh, maximum weight. We always send a little reminder to say, do you want to add to your subscription box in case you need, um, you, we don't want you to miss that the box has suddenly been sent in a day after you place an order and you have to pay postage for it. Um, you can cancel your subscription box anytime. We don't tie you in a contract. We can't stress this enough because we would hate it to think that you don't want the box and you're getting it. That would just be the worst for us. And um, a, a couple of years ago, we had to take out an electricity um, contract here on our um, commercial unit. And um, um, the, there were several companies and they were all the same. And they said, well, this is the best deal we can do you. And then um, if you cancel within, um, within your um, contract time, we're gonna make you pay for it all. And I just thought, imagine that. How, how can you say this to me? I'm your customer and you're, you're punishing me so badly. And, and I, just, I just thought that was so unfair. So we've always said we would never do this to anybody. If you don't want, it, if you don't want the box, we don't want you to have the box. It's as simple as that. If you are not excited by the postman walking down your road to give you the box, then um, just cancel it or, or skip a payment skip uh, one of the boxes because you don't have to have them every month if you if there's one that really doesn't take your fancy then just um then just skip a payment um of of that particular box and um and remember when you get your first box you get your tools certainly with the makers boxes with the surprise box you don't need them and with the fairy box you get tools every time and um what else do i need to tell you about that oh yeah you could change your payment um date as well so if you are the only one that always gets it in the middle of the month but you want it at the beginning of the month then just go onto your um, subscription account and you can change the payment day or date you can change the payment method on there if you if your card need, has been uh, renewed and you need to put a new card details in, you can do that as well and you can also um, change the address yourself on there. So if you're moving house or you're going away for six months and you need the box be, to be sent somewhere else then you can do that too. So it's all possible um, with uh, managing your own account. And remember, we always tell you how to manage your own account on the back of the um, subscription box newsletter. So I'm just grabbing the one here for the butterfly. There's a, a big, and it also tells you on the website uh, under the subscription box. So you can um, see what you need to do to change your subscription box. And if you are um, really, really still keen to make the phone um, and you have the box, there is a Pam Dassey on YouTube. She has made um, the first half of the phone. She does uh, lots of um, um, needle felting tutorials and she often uh, does our boxes. So the phone, which has just um, been and gone, you can still um, get uh, maybe even needle felt along with uh, Pam and she has, she's doing part two on Sunday coming up and part one is still on YouTube. You can rewatch it. And um, we are very likely to release the phone pack very, very soon. So if you've missed out of the subscription box, but you still love making that phone, it will be slightly more expensive than buying the box because obviously we give our subscribers the benefit um, for being a regular um, subscriber. But um, it is it is entirely um, available and usually our um, packs after a box, they are 25 pounds. Um, I'm not sure if that is the current price as well because we've just had to put our prices up, but I'm just saying it um, with no um, guarantees attached at the moment. So I think that's um, all of it. Oh, there's lots of, um, okay. So um, Teresa, for, from my days working at Create and Craft, I know you can ink a rubber stamp and iron the Angelina fiber over it. Adds extra pattern and texture. Ooh, nice. This is this is obviously um, paper, a paper, paper, craft tip great um we will be listing neon pink for sure it's such a vibrant color we'll get on the case hopefully neon green as well um, rachel says hi alice my son Dan daniel's autistic and steffi is now um a part of our weekly routine we love your live streams oh thank 
thank you, Rachel. I know that um, um, you and your son watch, but I didn't realize I was part of the weekly routine. Best never change um, the timings of it then. But uh, nice to see you, Daniel. I hope you um, don't mind me chattering away nonstop. Um, but yeah, keep watching and maybe you're making things as well. Um, so, um, great tip to raise up with Sophie. Um, howdy, says Pamela. Um, a tip for makers, box subscribers, if you change your payment date, this will reinstate any upcoming boxes you might have chosen to skip. Oh, that's a good tip actually, Emma. Thank you for that. Um, so you will need to re-skip them in your account. Okay, so that basically means if you change your payment date, um, because you always got your box, say, on the 29th, but you now want it on the 1st, but you've already got boxes in the queue to be skipped, then the skipping will be cancelled out, from what I uh, gather, and you have to um, tell the system again that you want those boxes skipped. So even though you've changed the payment date and you will be getting future boxes, if you've opted for some of the boxes to be skipped, then you, you have to do that again. Um, oh, yes. Um, yes, large phone pack will be £25 for listed. Excellent. So on that note, um, I hope you enjoyed the unboxing of our subscription boxes with a few um, tips. The, the tips of the specific techniques that we've used in the boxes will be pulled out um, separately and they will become a, a little video tutorial on their own. So if you want to revisit any of the um, tips, Emma will be on the case and editing these and making them into separate little um, video tutorials that will also be linked to our website in the subscription boxes and um, probably shared on, on our Facebook page as well. So all I'm asking you now is, is to stay happy, um, keep stabbing, um, like our our channel and and tell your friends about it get them to join we really want to get the numbers up because that's like oh, so good to get more and more people together and build a lovely crafting community and um, well just share our happy place basically and um, I think there's more coming up um, oh, I've done it again I didn't bring my schedule or oh, Emma will tell us in a minute what's coming up next um, on on the live stream schedule but I'm definitely sure there's another one this week and um, until then, um, well, we'll see you then and take care, stay safe and um, yeah, enjoy the nice weather if you have nice weather wherever you are. See you soon. Bye bye.